All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. And our first time with this league. So apologies for any names we may mispronounce. Ronald Maynard and jo Jason Shermott's on the front row. Marcellus Bruning and Ra Randy Ayers have the second row. Mike Zakar and Gerald Williams on the third row. Barry French, C.R. Reed on the fourth row. Danny Passmore and Ross Luckhurst round out your top ten. John Shermont and Larry Tittle starting 11th and 12th. Maxwell Agent and Doug Small 13th and 14th. Manuel De Sosa and Kevin Bruner 15th and 16th. Tony Kinnaird and Gregory Mark 17th and 18th. Warren Moore, Andrew Forrester 19th and 20th. Don Anderson 21st, Kevin Hayes 22nd, Clinton Chambers 23rd, Jim Wardlow in 24th, Gil Guac in 25th, Bill Hornback 26th, Steve Cubay starting in 27th, Tim St. John in 28th, Ryan Seneker and Mike Burgess round out the top 30, John Saunders, Michael Lemansk and Les Bentz round out your 33 Car Field here at Laguna Seca. Thirty three cars, all fixed setups. Everybody running the baseline I racing setup for their car, GT fours. They have less power than the uh, GT3s. They don't handle as well. Not as much downforce. The driver's really going to have to work these cars around the track for 55 minutes. And the corkscrew, that should get very, very interesting. As we mentioned, these uh, <clears throat> this league is known for being one of, if not the cleanest league on iRacing. Les Bentz, the only driver that did not take to the grid. Through the final turn, Jason Shermont and Ron Maynard will control the start. Green flag is in the air. They are away at Laguna Seca. And they are going to go into turn one, three wide. Maynard broke away for a moment, but airs. Looks to the outside. A lot of battling through turn one on the first lap, but everybody makes it through clean. Randy Ayers on the attack here early. Ronald Maynard has a little bit of a breakaway as they head toward the corkscrew for the first time. One and a quarter seconds as there is a battle on for second. Jason Shermont pulls back up. Jim Wardlow has a problem on lap one. He is towing to pit road. And it looks like a few drivers had problems in the corkscrew.
Ronald Maynard leads lap one. Let's see what happened here. Mike Burgess headed toward the kink. Just overshoots the kink there a little bit. Couple more drivers do as well. A little banging back behind. Jim Wardlow uh, sees a car goes wide, tries to get underneath, and oh, comes back across. Take another angle at Wardlow's incident. Taz not cooperating with Wardlow this morning. He gets into the dirt, comes across, collects Bill Hornback. Second lap, uh, Ronald Maynard continues to lead. Has a 2.3 second lead over Jason Shermont. And it looks like Maxwell Agent had a problem. Coming down out of the corkscrew. Goes, uh, oh, the McLaren goes wide, collects the Mercedes. John Shermont's in that Mercedes, just comes across backwards, loses the rear bumper, but keeps going. Now the drivers do have one fast repair this morning. Gil Guok has had a problem. There's Gil in the Porsche, just overshoots it. Looked like he got stuck in the sand there. J uh, Jason Shermont's in second, has the fastest lap last time by. Looks like the tires are starting to get some heat in them. And the drivers are starting to find some grip. Kevin did say we are unlikely to see very many tire changes as the drivers have finally figured out how to make those tires last for 55 minutes. Although in this particular car, that has got to be one heck of a challenge, keeping those tires gripping. Everybody has settled in single file for the moment. Kevin Bruner now two spots into 14th. Manuel De Sosa is up four spots into 11th so far. Biggest mover though, Steve Kube, who started 27th, up eight spots into 19th. Looks like that Aston Martin is handling extremely well for him. He is starting to close in on Tony Kinnaird and Warren Moore as they come down the front straightaway. Several drivers having problems on lap one, losing some spots, starting to fight their way back. Kevin Bruner 
up two spots already into 14th looking at Doug Small just ahead Manuel De Sosa is currently up four spots into 11th C.R. Reed now up to 8th with Ross Luckhurst right behind in 9th Ryan Seneker now up five spots into 24th Tim St. John up three spots into 25th. Mike Burgess, despite early problems, up four spots into 26th. Gil Guac officially out of the race, as is Jim Wardlow. Bill Hornback now at the back of the pack in 30th after getting caught up in another issue earlier on meanwhile Jason Shermont has gone to the lead Ronald Maynard had a problem there's the leader Ronald Maynard headed into the corkscrew just gets a little too much of the sand it goes around to make matters worse the entire field right behind him he could not get it rolling without causing a bigger incident Maynard loses second place and there comes the rest of the field Maynard, after leading early on, has dropped all the way to 28. We'll keep an eye and see how far Maynard can get back up, but with no cautions uh, in road racing, it is unlikely he is going to reclaim the lead. Now Jason Shermont's out front by seven and a half seconds over Marcellus Bruning. Randy Ayers in third, Gerald Williams currently in fourth, Mike Zakar sits in fifth. C.R. Reed currently in sixth, Russ, uh, Ross Luckhurst in seventh, Barry French eighth. Danny Passmore in ninth and Manuel De Souza up to tenth. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit that like, follow, subscribe. Most importantly, hit that share button. Invite your friends and family still. 30 cars on the lead lap here at Laguna Seca where anything could happen. Doug Small went a little bit wide through the kink. Now has Bruner right to his bumper. Gregory Marks about 3.4 seconds back and is gaining. He's got John Shermont's with him. And Steve Kubay continues his march toward the front. Kubay up 11 spots to 16. Jason Shermont took the lead after the problems that Ronald Maynard had has now pulled out to a 7.6 second lead. Mike Burgess has had a problem. Burgess coming out of the corkscrew goes wide through the sand. Oh! 
collects Maynard. Maynard in trouble again. You could tell Maynard saw this coming. He tried to get low, but just nowhere to go. From leading the race to being at the back, a heartbreak. Kevin, I'm having some more coffee myself after this one. Kevin Hayes has had a problem and is going to pit road. And the Mercedes comes through the kink, gets wide, hits the sand, and goes to the tire barrier. There's a couple places on the track where drivers can easily get stuck in the sand and can't get rolling. It appears Burgess found one. Or, I'm sorry, Kevin Hayes. Shermont's, meanwhile, out front has extended his lead as Bill Hornback has had a problem. Coming up the hill toward the corkscrew. Just gets off into the sand a little bit. Everybody comes flying by. Does look like Hornback's car is in uh, not in the best condition at this point. You see the front end is a bit banged up. Has been caught up in a couple of incidents so far, but staying in the fight, as is Mike Burgess right behind him. And you got to give it to Ron Maynard, currently sitting in 29th place after leading the first several laps. Trying to fight his way forward yet again. Kevin Hayes is on his way back off pit road. He comes out in 30th. Shermont has checked out. Marcellus Bruning currently in second. Also has a bit of a gap back to third place. Randy Ayers, but... Behind him is Gerald Williams, Mike Zakar, C.R. Reed, Ross Luckhurst, Barry French, and Danny Passmore. That whole group all just a few seconds apart. Manuel De Souza has now moved up into 10th. Larry Tittle now to 11th. Kevin Bruner is on pit road. We know they've got to make a fuel stop. This looks like a strategy move. Trying to get himself up. It is pit stop time to get out of traffic. Maybe get him some clean air. Steve Kubay continues his march toward the front. Now in 14th after starting in 27th. Hey, Nick! Great job in race two, buddy. Great comeback. Clinton Chambers has had a problem back behind. Clinton in the McLaren. Coming toward that final turn. A little bobble under braking. Almost comes to a complete stop in that final turn.
Steve Cabay just took 13th from John Shermont. As Bill Hornback has come to pit road, he needed some repairs. And guessing that Kevin Bruner's stop was for fuel, they should all be within their fuel window. Shermont's lead over Marcellus now 10.1 seconds. As John Saunders has had a problem and there is a lot of battling going on for third on back. Gerald Williams, Mike Zakar, Randy Ayers battling it out. It is allowing C.R. Reed to close the gap. Let's see what happened to John Saunders. Coming up toward the bus stop, we see one car complete. Now that was through the kink. The car ahead massively overshot it. Saunders comes up, gets into the bus stop, gets shot by shot under by several of the lead lap cars. Pulls over, lets them all by. Gerald Williams, Mike Zakar, Randy Ayers put a little space between them as they come through the corkscrew. But out of the corkscrew, Randy Ayers in that Porsche on the full send attack. And he has a hello on his hood, letting them know he is there. Doug Small has been to pit road. Clinton Chambers now on pit road. Fuel stomps underway with 35 minutes to go. We saw Kevin Bruner making his fuel stop about 15 minutes into the race. So we can expect that most of these drivers, if needed, can go to about 15, 20 minutes to go before requiring a pit stop here. Ross Luckhurst has finally broken away from Barry French and Danny Passmore. Manuel de Souza is still in heavy traffic. He comes around a couple of lap cars. And Jason Shermont has given up the lead. He is on pit road. Marcellus Bruning choosing to stay out. Marcellus has a 2.9 second lead over now second place. Gerald Williams, Mike Zakar in third, Randy Ayers right there in fourth. C.R. Reed in fifth, Ross Luckhurst in sixth, Barry French seventh, Danny Passmore in eighth. Shermont's on his way back out. Now the question is, will De Souza get around? Larry Tittle also on pit road. 
as Ronald Maynard is trying to unlap himself, he is now up in the 26th. Ross Luckhurst and Danny Passmore have cranked it up another notch as they just set their fastest laps last time by. We'll see how they do this time by. Danny Passmore definitely set his fastest as he continues to close the gap. Barry French sitting back there in eighth. The biggest mover is still Steve Kube, who just came by Manuel de Souza and takes 10th place. Kube started in 27th, already up 17 spots. John Saunders is on pit road. He is completing his pit stop. Jason Shermont, who had that big, big lead before he came into pit road, now sits in ninth place. About 17 seconds behind 18th place Barry French, but everybody ahead of Shermont has to pit still. Marcellus continues to lead. Ross Luckhurst is in. Gerald Williams in second, trying to close that two and a half second gap. Zakar right behind him in third. Ayers in fourth. C.R. Reed in fifth. Reed about 3.8 seconds back, but continuing to gain ground. Hey, Tessa! Kevin Hayes has had another problem. Kevin did have an issue earlier on in the race trying to get that Mercedes back through the field. But through that final turn, the car ahead went wide through the grass. That was De Souza. Kevin slowed down to let him get the car saved. Gerald Williams was headed to pit road, had a problem. See what happened to Gerald as he headed into pit road. Got a little bit of the sand. Looks like he got on the brakes to slow down and just got the tire barrier. Maxwell Agent has had a problem at Toad. And it looks like he just turned right. This may have been uh, something else. Meanwhile, Ross Luckhurst has also had an issue.
Ross on the attack and has been for quite a while into that final turn. The BMW ahead goes wide. He comes almost to a stop but gets it gathered up and pushes past. Danny Passmore now in for his pit stop. At just about the halfway point. Top five still have not been in. Jason Shermott's now up to sixth. Remember, he had a 10 second lead before coming to pit road. Came off pit road in ninth, has fought his way up into sixth place. And Steve Coupe, who started in 27th, is now up into 7th place. Coupe is definitely on the attack. A fight during practice, Kevin? That's hilarious. Oh, Marcellus goes way wide out of the second to last turn. Does not come in this time. Marcellus now has a 3.94 second lead over Mike Zakar. Randy Ayers still holding on to third, but uh, does not appear. Ayers has the speed he had earlier. He's now two seconds behind Zakar. C.R. Reed still holds on to fourth. Barry French in fifth. Jason Shermont's in sixth with Steve Coupe in seventh. Manuel De Souza in eighth. John Shermont's now up into ninth. Danny Passmore in tenth. John Sher or Jason Shermont's rather oh Doug Small and the leader have crashed. There's Doug Small in the Porsche through the kink, just goes wide, loses it in the sand, comes across the nose of the leader. There's Marcellus Bruning leading the race through the kink, keeps his foot down, heads up the hill, but has nowhere to go, and ended up towing it to Pitt Road. What a heartbreaking end for Marcellus. That gives the lead now to Mike Zakar as the biggest mover of the race. Steve Kube gives up sixth. He is on pit road. Jason Shermott's now back up into the top five in fifth and gaining ground on all four cars ahead. Manuel De Souza now on pit road. Mike Zakar's lead over Randy Ayers, 1.1 seconds. And Zakar gives up the lead. He is in. Randy Ayers stays out. C.R. Reed also staying out. Barry French now on pit road as well. 
This is the moment Shermont has been waiting for. This should put him back up into third place. Then it is just a matter of Randy Ayers and C.R. Reed getting their pit stops completed. Jason Shermont may reclaim the lead here in a lap or two. Andrew Forrester has had a problem. Forrester headed toward it looks like the final turn just overshoots it hard to the brakes but manages to keep it going and keep it on track. Jason Shermont has now gone to third. Randy Ayers has the six second lead over C.R. Reed. Shermont's just 12.8 seconds back. Mike Zakar now in fourth. Danny Passmore in fifth. Barry French in six. Ross Luckhurst in seven. Steve Cabay up to eighth now after his stop of 19 spots from his 27th place starting position. It appears this is Kubay's first race with this group, and he is putting on quite a show. And Randy Ayers gives up the lead. He is on pit road. C.R. Reed gives up second. Third place, Jason Shermont just came out of the corkscrew. He comes out of the final turn about to reclaim the lead here with less than 20 minutes to go. Jason Shermont's now back in the lead. Randy Ayers on his way off of pit road. Mike Zakar now to third as C.R. Reed is on his way out. Steve Kubay sitting back in eighth, trying to close the gap on Ross Luckhurst. Kevin Bruner has now made his way into the top ten. Manuel De Souza, despite issues earlier, is up three spots into twelfth. Gregory Martz up five spots into thirteenth. Ronald Maynard continues to make his way back toward the front in 14th. Remember, Maynard was opening up a lead earlier in this race, got taken out, had a problem in the corkscrew, got taken out several laps later, has fought non-stop to make his way back through the field. Clinton Chambers has had a problem.
Quentin coming up the hill toward the bust, or toward the uh, corkscrew. Let's one of the lead cars by, but completely misses the line, goes through the sand, almost lost it there, but holds on to her. Jason Shermott's after pit stop cycle through has a 19.7 second lead over second place, Randy Ayers. Clinton Chambers has had another problem. He is towed to pit road. Headed down towards turn one. Goes a bit wide through one, and oh, a car stopped just ahead. Take another look at this. It does look like he took some damage to the front end of that car. He gets it rolling again, but after the uh, connecting with Michael Lemansk, uh, the car just not turning right. Oh, I am so sorry, Tim. Hey, hope to see you at four, Tim. Or whatever time it is where you're at. I guess it'd be five Eastern your time. We knew Laguna Seca would get rough. Already several cars out of the race. Les Bentz did not take to the track. Jim Wardlow, Gil Guac out early, as is Bill Hornback, Tim St. Jean. Looks like Gerald Williams and Marcellus Bruning both out now as well. Clinton Chambers appears to be out. John Saunders now in 25th is the lowest running car at the moment. Don Anderson and Ronald Maynard both on pit road. Don Anderson and C.R. Reed have had a problem just a moment ago. Oh, Donald Anderson goes off through the kink and gets the tire wall. C.R. Reed headed up toward the uh, corkscrew and a car coming across just ahead of him. He has to come to a complete stop, and it does look like that was Don Anderson. Tires definitely going away. These GT4 cars are definitely difficult to save tires and keep them in a good, keep good grip in them for this length of a race, and Warren Morris had a problem.
Warren headed toward the uh, corkscrew, comes to almost a complete stop at the top. Then overshoots through the sand, manages to quickly recover. Jason Shermott's continuing to go around lapping cars, including John Shermott, who he just flew by. John Shermott's heavy damage to the nose of the Mercedes. Eleven cars left on the lead lap. This has been a big race of attrition. Steve Coubet, still the biggest mover of the race so far, started in 27th, now in 8th. He is about 13 and a quarter seconds behind 7th place, Ross Luckhurst. Ross closing in on Barry French in 6th. Barry, meanwhile, battling Danny Passmore in 5th. C.R. Reed in fourth, just three and a half seconds ahead of Passmore. Passmore trying to close that gap as well while defending. Meanwhile, Jason Shermott's lead now 22.1 seconds. Shermott just has checked out. He had the perfect pit strategy here today and has had the fastest car all morning long. Randy Ayers in second, still has third place Mike Zakar right with him. Larry Tittle holds on to ninth, but Kevin Bruner in tenth right behind him. Manuel de Souza currently in 11th. John Shermont's back in 12th. The first car a lap down. C.R. Reed has done an amazing job coming back. He had problems earlier in the race, still holding on to fourth. And a heartbreaking morning for Ronald Maynard after leading the first several laps. Had a problem coming through the corkscrew. The, most of the field got back. He started moving forward. Got caught up in another driver's incident. Worked his way back up to 14th. And then after a pit stop, all the way back to 20th. Mayor is closing in on Michael Lamansk. Maxwell Agent and Warren Moore, but will he be able to make up the ground with just eight minutes left to go?
Meanwhile, Jason Shermont continues to pull away little by little from Randy Ayers and Mike Zakar. Kevin Bruner has been on the back bumper of ninth place Larry Tittle for quite a while, but has been unable to find a way by. Stephen Kubey, meanwhile, has closed the gap down to 10 seconds on Ross Luckhurst. Will he be able to close it all the way? The last couple of laps, he's gained three seconds. Does he have enough time left to close the rest of that gap? Jason Shermont, meanwhile, in a whole nother dimension. He may be able to avoid lap traffic for the rest of this one. Manuel de Souza is back on pit road. This is unexpected. Randy Ayers is also back in. Did they not get enough fuel? Let's see what happens with Randy Ayers here on pit road. Drive through penalties are starting to be assessed out on track. 10 incident points does get a drive through penalty, and it does look like Randy has picked him up. He has now slipped back into fourth, moving Mike Zakar to second, C.R. Reed now to third. Steve Kubay still trying to close the gap on, Luck, on uh, Luckhurst. Has only gained about a half a second. But Luckhurst right behind Danny Passmore and Barry French. They are also closing in on fourth place. Randy Ayers could see some battling that brings Kubay up close. There have been non-stop battles throughout this race. But Jason Shermont has continued to run away with it. His lead now 28 and a half seconds over Zakar. Ronald Maynard, meanwhile, has worked his way back to 18th, trying to close the gap on Maxwell Agent ahead. Maynard is gaining ground. He is one of the fastest cars out here this morning. But just a heartbreaking morning for that driver. Hoping to turn it around next week. Kubay now has cut the gap down to eight seconds on Luckhurst. Luckhurst still with Passmore and French. 
Hairs just ahead of both of them. After his drive through penalty. And Jason Shermott just continues to pull away now a 30.3 second lead. Oh! Ronald Maynard was battling with Maxwell Agent but went off track. Coming through that second to last turn, Maynard gets the better run. Shoots it down into that final turn, but not enough brakes overshoots. Maynard's heartbreak story continues again. Mike Burgess has stayed in the car all day despite problems, has made his way to 21st. Don Anderson still holds on in 22nd. Shermont's coming through the second to last turn. Expecting to see the white flag this time. Could not tell if he saw the white flag or not. Let's ride along. Out of the corkscrew with C.R. Reed and see if Barney the Flagman has the white flag in hand. Reed still has Randy Ayers all over the back bumper. White flag is in the air. As Jason Shermont heads toward the corkscrew one last time, Don Anderson has had a problem. Shermont makes it out of the corkscrew two more turns. And through the final turn, Shermont is going to pull it off. Down toward the start finish line, Jason Shermont will win at Laguna Seca. Mike Zakar 20 plus seconds back. Out of the final turn, will come home in second. Randy Ayers still trying to hold on to third. C.R. Reed right on his bumper. Reed sends it deep into the turn, but it will not be enough. Randy Ayers will come home in third. Let's talk to our top finishers. Does not look like Randy is available. Mike Zakar is. Mike, that was a great run today. Just keeping the car clean and out of trouble. 
seemed to be the uh, all you had to do, and you had a lot of speed. Yeah, I um, I went to um, just like you said. I I went for low incident points, and and that that got a couple people in front of me. And that definitely helped seeing a few of those drive-through penalties, especially with the points lead. Uh, coming home in second really makes a difference. Yeah, it does. It was with Jarrell and Mark Marcellus early and uh, Randy and just a constant battle. CR was right there if we made a mistake. Well, you were in the right place at the right time all day long and had the car to uh, one of the cars to beat, man. Great job. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Thank you. Mike Zakar comes home in second, but Jason Shermont just dominated the entire race. Jason, a great job. Uh, that was pretty dominant, especially with that uh, fuel strategy. Jason, you got me? Looks like Jason might be having audio issues. Hey, Jason, you got me? Trying a couple of different things here to see if we can help figure out what's going on. Uh, while we're waiting on Jason, looks like Randy Ayers has joined us. Randy, a uh, great third place. But more importantly, that was one heck of a battle you and CR had there at the end. Hey, uh, can you hear me okay, Doug? Hey, Jason. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> great, great win, man. Oh, thanks. I uh, I really was unsure what I was going to do at the start. Uh, I found myself in second place after qualifying, and strategies were just tumbling through my head. I didn't know if I wanted to try to play a fuel strategy or just go in full attack mode, and then even if I did catch up to Ron, what I was going to do with him when I got there, but it all worked out in the end. It definitely did, and the fuel strategy, you were like the second or third person to pit. Uh, the early fuel strategy really, really paid off. You had a big gap when you hit pit road and an even bigger one after. Yeah, it worked out pretty well. Uh, I, I was fortunate to, uh, you know, have really good luck with lap traffic, and that included coming in and coming out of the pits. It worked out great. Uh, it definitely did an awesome race and a dominant win, man. Congratulations. Oh, thanks for the thanks for the time, Doug. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Randy, you got us now. I do. Sorry, I didn't have my push to talk map there. <laughs> it's all right, man. Uh, a great job, and you and CR had one heck of a battle the last part of that race. Yeah, I uh, I I had a great start and uh, got all the way up to second and uh, got passed for third and just decided to hang out there. But I kept accumulating the uh, the one X's. The uh, Porsche just doesn't like to turn in here, so. Uh, I ended up with a drive through and, and gave CR third place. So I had to catch him at the end there, and that, that was fun trying to catch him. I'm sure it was. We saw the drive through penalty and really kind of thought that that was the end of the podium for you, but you managed to really one heck of a drive back to him. Yeah, I had four seconds with uh, five laps left, and uh, I, I kept checking my um, relative on him and my lap time compared to his, and, and I knew it was going to be close at the end. Um, I actually was sputtering all the way from uh, the exit of turn, what are the 10 there to on the final, on the straight. I was out of fuel, so if he was on my bumper, he would have got me. <laughs> Well, you managed to make it work. Great strategy and great speed, man. Congratulations. Great podium. Hey, thanks. And thank you, Doug, for uh, for, for putting on this broadcast and whoever uh, stepped up for it. Uh, great, great things, man. Great. Love this organization. Home Motorsports is awesome. My pleasure, man. Great job today. Randy Ayers comes home in third, but man, what a run Jason Shermont's had. 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Come back here in about an hour. We will have the HTSAI Community Hunt. And later tonight, 730 Eastern, BRR Cup Series is there. Thank you guys so much. We will see you here in a bit. Have a great afternoon.